so I'm sorry that you guys can't see this, but it's a beautiful model of Earth, so just pretend. Um, we're going to pretend for a second that the sun is way over there to our right, and Venus and Mars are, sta are sitting, whoops, I've got to take this off. Venus and Mars are standing right in between this beautiful, highly technical model of the Earth here. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, we used to think that if Earth had formed just slightly closer to Mars or slightly closer to Venus, complex life would have formed just fine, but in a uh, slightly colder, slightly warmer environment. But I'm going to show you today that if Earth had formed just slightly closer to Mars, complex life may have never evolved and no one would be sitting here today. So Earth, in its simplest form, can just be thought of of an ocean rock surface below some atmosphere. And Earth has a small carbon dioxide component, which we just heard about. So we usually think of carbon dioxide in terms of climate change, right? Humans sending huge amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and raising the temperatures. But here we're going to think about it in a completely different way because before humans, it was actually volcanoes that were emitting most of the carbon dioxide. Volcanoes emit about 200 million tons of carbon dioxide per year. So after a million years, Earth should have a giant CO2 component, right? So why isn't that? Well, I told you about the sources for CO2, but I haven't quite told you about the sinks for CO2, which is kind of like teaching someone about the digestive system, but uh, only explaining what happens from like here on up. So when Earth emits all this CO2, about half of it gets depleted into the oceans, okay? The other half actually reacts with small little raindrops to form carbonic acid. And that acid eventually makes its way down into the rock, weathers the rock, and after a while that carbon dioxide goes back into the volcanoes. It's this awesome circle of life phenomenon. Now if Earth was moved just slightly closer to Mars, the oceans would start to freeze, and those raindrops would turn into snowflakes. So now you can imagine, we put in our carbon dioxide to the system, but the CO2 has nowhere to go, and if it does, it's moving very slowly. So, but now look, we've developed this huge carbon dioxide envelope, this massive global warming, like climate change on steroids, right? And so after a certain amount of time, you would get to a high enough temperature where the oceans would start to melt and your snowflakes would turn back to raindrops. And when that happens, bye-bye CO2. No more global warming. So Earth in this state would teeter-totter between this massive freezing and this massive cold environment. And Earth for, life on Earth formed over four billion years. So it's not very likely that Earth could have survived, life on Earth could have survived like that. So next time you see the sun, count your lucky stars that we ended up 92.96 million miles away from it.